Hello, I'm Steve Nunn, President and CEO of The Open Group. Welcome to Toolkit Tuesday, where we highlight the various components and leading experts of the Architects Toolkit, a collated portfolio of the most pertinent technology standards for enterprise architects. During the series, I'll be calling on a number of recognized experts who will bring their particular insights on how to most effectively use the various tools in the Architects Toolkit. We'll have a mix of interviews, panel sessions, and pre-recorded presentations along the way. While all standards of the Open Group are designed so they can be adopted independently of one another, the greatest value for an organization can be derived when they're used in unison. The sum of the parts should be greater than the whole. In the Architects Toolkit, we have collated a portfolio of the most pertinent ones for architects together, all in one place. For most of these tools, certification from the Open Group is also available, so practitioners can demonstrate that they have the skills required, and recruiters can take the guesswork out of the recruitment process, all backed up by our Open Badges program. Here at the Open Group, we have a proud record of creating and maintaining standards, frameworks, reference architectures, tools, models and guides that have proven to be invaluable to the enterprise architecture community, whether they are industry-wide or aligned to specific vertical sectors. What they all have in common, though, is that they've been created by leading experts in their associated field, based on industry best practices, adopting a thought leadership approach, ensuring that they meet the exacting needs of their audience. All these documents reside in the Open Group Library and represent an extensive new body of knowledge that enterprise architecture practitioners can use to support the development of enterprise architectures, whether as part of their digital transformation activities or otherwise. The TOGAF series guides contain guidance on how to use the TOGAF framework. They are expected to be the most rapidly developing part of the TOGAF document set. While the TOGAF framework is expected to be long-lived and stable, guidance on the use of the TOGAF framework can be industry, architectural style, purpose and problem specific. Next, we'll briefly review a few of these components in more detail. The TOGAF standard provides a framework for effective enterprise architecture delivery and is supported by a set of documents that provide specific guidance about how to use and adapt it to support new trends. It is the most prominent and reliable enterprise architecture standard, ensuring consistent standards, methods and communication among enterprise architecture professionals. Those professionals who are fluent in the TOGAF approach enjoy greater industry credibility, job effectiveness and career opportunities. This open standard-based approach helps practitioners avoid being locked into proprietary methods, utilize resources more efficiently and effectively and realize a greater return on investment. Open Agile Architecture, a standard of the Open Group, was consciously designed keeping the needs of all business stakeholders in mind. A product-centric organization is composed of cross-functional teams which are responsible for developing products or services and operating or running them, with each member bringing expertise from their own domain. The OAA standard provides a framework and common language for your teams to function effectively to develop and deliver a collaborative, nimble operating model that enables success. The digital enterprise is shaped by people who work in the context of an enterprise's organization and culture that needs to evolve towards agility at scale. Agile teams drive the enterprise's digital transformation by inventing new business models, delivering superior customer experience, developing digital products, and architecting highly automated operating systems. Open Agile Architecture takes an outcome-based, product-centered approach to enable enterprises to respond to customer needs in a more nimble and agile manner. To illustrate the synergy between standards, here we see the value the TOGAF and Open Agile Architecture standards bring together, providing an improved overall outcome when used to drive digital transformation. The TOGAF standard is an enterprise architecture framework that delivers efficient and effective enterprise architecture to support organizational transformation for different use cases and architecture style. And the Open Agile Architecture provides guidance on how an organization should address digital and business transformation in an agile manner. The Archimate 3.1 specification, a standard of the Open Group, is an open and independent modeling language for enterprise architecture that is supported by different tool vendors and consulting firms. The Archimate language enables enterprise architects to describe, analyze, and visualize the relationships among architecture domains in an unambiguous way.
This insight helps stakeholders to design, assess and communicate the consequences of decisions and changes within and between these architecture domains. Here we see an example of using the Archimate language to model enterprise risk management. The IT for IT reference architecture standard was originally created to manage the business of IT, enabling business insight across the IT value chain, increasing focus on business outcomes and improving agility. However, with the soon to be released version 3.0 of the standard, the focus has changed towards a digital value network allowing you to architect your digital product portfolio for both internal and external consumers. With the digital product backbone supporting the convergence of business and IT and the co-creation of strategy. The Open Group Security Forum manages and updates the Open Fair Factor Analysis of Information Risk Body of Knowledge, comprised of the Risk Taxonomy ORT, standard and the Risk Analysis ORA standard. The Open Group Risk Taxonomy Standard provides a standard definition and taxonomy for information security risk as well as information regarding how to use the taxonomy. The Open Group Risk Analysis ORA Standard provides risk analysts with the specific processes necessary to perform effective open fair risk analysis. Using the Open Fair Risk Management Stack guides an organization through the chain from using an accurate risk model through meaningful measurements and effective comparisons, which in turn lead to well-informed decisions and effective management. Zero Trust reflects a transition from the traditional approach of perimeter-based security to a security operating model that is business-enabling and data-centric. The Open Group ZTA Working Group is an industry-wide initiative to establish standards and best practices for Zero Trust as the overarching information security approach for the digital age. The Zero Trust Architecture Working Group is a collaboration between the Open Group Security Forum and Architecture Forum. One of the early outputs from the Zero Trust Architecture Work Group is the Zero Trust Core Principles, which you can see here. The Digital Practitioner Body of Knowledge Standard, also known as the DP Box Standard, was created by the Open Group to develop and promote an understanding of what it means to be digital and to establish best practices for organizations providing a digital customer experience. The DP Box Standard is intended to assist individuals and organizations who wish to create and manage product offerings with an increasing digital component or to lead their organizations through digital transformation. It provides guidance for the digital practitioner, whether based in a traditional IT organization, manufacturing unit, sales, customer support, or embedded in a cutting edge integrated product team. The DP Box standard describes tools and techniques across the 12 competencies, which are divided into four competency categories, founder, team, team of teams, and enduring enterprise. Here we see a long-term view of the portfolio of standards at the Open Group. I'm going to pick on one since we've covered the rest already. The TOGAF series guide for microservices architecture. The purpose of this soon to be released guide is to contribute to the Open Group mission of boundaryless information flow by providing guidance on how the architect can use the TOGAF 9.2 standard to develop, manage and govern microservices architecture or any architecture where MSA is part of the scope. This should promote the shared understanding of the MSA creation process according to the principles of distributed architecture and significantly strengthen the alignment between the cultures of business and information technology. The further adoption of MSA as an architecture style and a cloud environment would result in the use of the method, metamodel references and other TOGAF facilities. All of the Open Group standards are published in the Open Group Library. I hope you have a better understanding now of why we created the Architects Toolkit and why this portfolio of tools and resources works even better together. I look forward to sharing more insights on the next Toolkit Tuesday. Next time, I'll be joined by my colleague, Andrew Josie, VP of Standards and Certification at the Open Group, who will be taking us on a guided tour of the Open Group Library. I'm Steve Nunn, thank you for watching Toolkit Tuesday.